Alright, so given everything that's been going on, I found this article on Fox News. Booty gag, butt gag, whatever his name is, tells crowd white construction workers are taking jobs from communities of color. Transportation Secretary said construction projects in majority, minority I mean, towns have workers that don't look like they came from that neighborhood. Uh-oh. Pete Buddy Gag, or whatever his name is, focused on racial disparities in construction during a Monday conference claiming that construction sites are not employing local workers in minority communities and outsourcing to white people. Well, yeah, if there, if there aren't local construction workers available, they have to outsource, otherwise nothing will get built. Quote, we heard way too many stories from generations past of infrastructure where you got a neighborhood, often a neighborhood of color, that finally sees the project come to them, but everyone in the hard hats on that project doing the good paying jobs don't look like them. From anywhere near that neighborhood, but Gig said. So is that where the term, there goes the neighborhood, comes from? He added, that Americans could help shrink wealth gaps in the country by tearing down those barriers on the delivery level. Um, that's not a barrier. If there aren't people qualified in that community for construction work, then, yeah, like I said before, they have to outsource or the buildings don't get built. And I can just see it now. If they actually did that, told construction companies that, hey, you have to hire people from this community. I could see it now. They can't find anyone from that community, so they have to outsource, but they're not allowed to. And then nothing gets built. And then Democrats do a complete 360 and blame white people for, why aren't you building in these communities of color, you racist? Also, another point I want to make, if they hired based on diversity, not qualifications, wouldn't that affect the quality of the actual building? Because they're not qualified workers, they're diversity hires. But then again, that kind of logic wouldn't make any sense to people like this guy. Because he did say something to the effect of, there is racism physically built into highways. What the hell? In November, Pete Buttgeg was asked by April Ryan how he could deconstruct the racism that was built into our roadways. Quote, I'm still surprised that had some people were surprised when I pointed to the fact that if a highway was built for the purpose of dividing a white and a black neighborhood, or if an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids to a beach. So I've noticed in his speech here that he says, if a highway was built for the purpose, if. So it wasn't built for that purpose, he's saying if, or if. An underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying Puerto Rican black kids to a beach. So he's trying to find racism where none exists. He's using ifs. And in my opinion, they're pushing racism because they're trying to divide the people. Why? Because if the people are divided, they're so busy squabbling amongst themselves that the politicians can do whatever they want. And that's why they love diversity. Because the best way to divide people is through diversity. Because what is diversity? Well, division. All these little groups with their own interests. And yes, I'm going to talk about what happened in Ohio. So, National Guard was activated to assist residents with the evacuation and block people from getting too close to the wreckage. At the same time, officials attempted to do a controlled burn on the toxic debris. The controlled burn of the toxic chemicals sent phosgene, probably said that wrong, 
a highly poisonous gas used as a weapon in World War I into the surrounding area. On Monday, the Biden administration and state officials reassured residents in eastern Ohio that the air is safe to breathe after conducting a controlled release of toxic chemicals. So what this reminds me of? Tire fires. People used to burn the tires in great big piles, but then people were like, hey, wait a minute. That's bad. That's air pollution. Because, yeah, you're burning the tires and cleaning them up, but all those chemicals are going into the air, the atmosphere, which, if you think about it, is worse, in my opinion, anyway. All right, that's it for my little ramble. Take care.